What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Civilization 5 as the Aztecs on a TSL Earth map. We have just met Rome. If you haven't checked out the last video, I'd highly recommend it because as those of you that did check it out would know, we were invaded by the Chinook. We also didn't quite manage to get there in time to take out Austin, the capital of Texas. It's fallen to the Sioux, which is really bad news for the rest of the world. The Sioux look very strong now and could become one of those runaway North American powers we see sometimes, especially when I've done the AI only games. But anyway, we're meeting loads of more people. We've just met Korea, China, the Champa, Rome, lots of people being met. But yeah, I tried to sneak in, but I was too late to the party. But there's Rome, they're still alive. What's this saying? Sam Hughes, yes, so Texas has been destroyed. That isn't good. And now the Chinook are free to focus everything on us, which is not good. It's Pikeman's just about holding them off. And we're holding off, luckily, here through the Juarez city. Just managing to keep them at bay. Okay, this swordsman can also come defend now. We're grabbing these ancient ruins in Hawaii, which is really good. And this ship can now head. There we go, we've met the, met the Siam. I think we're not going to be able to meet Mongolia just because they're not coastal. I mean, they may not be alive. Oh, look at the Champa, that sucks. <laughs> Look at the tiles they got. That is unfair. I probably picked the wrong. I think I was meant to put in Vietnam and the Champa, who are a little bit further apart. Oh well. Sorry, Champa. You're still there, though. I mean, you're not dead yet. Rome wants open borders. That isn't going to happen. I don't even know where you are. Okay, so America is looking to settle. The Iroquois have already settled this island. Now it looks like America are looking for somewhere else to go. Starting to see some colonization. So the Siam look pretty big over here. Are they doing well? Oh, no. What am I doing? Go this way. Military manpower. Spain is the largest army of anyone we've met so far. We are very low. We should probably build some more units. Wine. Seven gold per turn. The Chinook have offered me peace. But it was a very bad deal. It would have cost me all of my luxuries. And I was not willing to give those up. So we're just going to keep fighting until we can get a straight up peace deal. See, the Chinook have probably got bigger worries now. Because, I mean, are they not scared of the really scary Sioux in the centre of our lovely continent? Which is very, very intimidating to everybody. Wait, who can you attack? Oh, you can attack those guys. Go block them off. Cargo ship. Send some food. Nine food per turn. Okay. That is a lot of spare food. But it's going to all be sent down to the Panama Canal. Which is good. Because it will finally be fed well. And you can stop avoiding growth. And it means Havana's growth will slow down. Which is kind of also good. Because it's just growing too fast at the moment. Hopefully America doesn't settle here. That will be annoying. Okay. Build that caravel. So that we can go and explore. Let's get gunpowder. Yeah, we're exploring the far east, uh, the East Asian region. It looks pretty interesting. And open borders with the Inca, yes. The enemy is near. Okay, that's this pikeman over here, is it not? Yep. Okay, if we can set up this trebuchet for rain, yeah, we'll be able to probably destroy one of these boats this turn, which is good news. Hopefully keeping the trebuchet alive. Most of their army is still situated up here in the north. Our happiness is dying in the background. Just aware of that. Surprised. Ah, and now we're meeting African civs. There is Mali. Boom. The first African we've met. They're just doing their thing. Morocco are still alive. I can see their border. And there's the Zulu. So everyone's sort of swimming around, meeting each other in the world. The Zulu's still alive. That's great news for the rest of the world. <laughs> okay, who needs orders? You do. Destroy. Oh, it didn't quite work out. That's a shame. Swordsman. Attack. Good. So Austin fell to the Sioux. That is just huge. Like, ah, oh, that is annoying. Because the Sioux are going to become very strong because of that. And thank you, California, for getting in the way. There we go. Boom. Destroy that unit. They steal one of our workers, potentially. Okay, let's work together to oh no 
They they made it in, they destroyed the trebuchet. And the workers exposed. Okay. This is not good. Luckily our pikemen should be able to kill their pikemen. And save the workers, but oh, I just can't believe this. The Sioux now are gonna become very powerful and they're right in the middle of everything. They can just take out whoever they want. I think the Iroquois should be very worried because of the Sioux. They're probably the next easy target with just up here, this city here. The Iroquois should definitely be worried. More than most. Including myself. I'm not too worried. Oh, there's Russia. They're obviously doing well. Or there's no way I would have met them by now. Yep, there we go. Moscow, 20 population. Okay. They're sending in composite bowmen. There is Krakatoa. Fight. Okay, that swordsman's probably going to die. That was my bad. Boom. There we go. Ah, oh, and the worker ran away. Good job, worker. Wait, hang on. Yes, destroy him. Can you... Can you hit... There we go. That might just... Might just save the swordsman. I doubt it will, but maybe. <laughs> but anyway, we're holding them off from Juarez, which is good. We've, I said it would be a really hard city to take because of all the natural barriers. And that is what we've done. We've just fought off the Chinook. Pretty good. Mexico City is still producing wealth. Like We could probably start building some buildings now. And the mini-map is expanding. We've heard of new people. Spain, Mali, Rome. We have a population at 9. So Rome it obviously isn't going so well. Russia. Dun, 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 dun. 230. I'll probably check the info addicts again around turn 250. Just to see sort of how, how many people. So we've met 24 of 43. So there's a lot of people to meet. And it looks like Russia. Yeah, okay. So Russia could be powerful. They don't have a big military, but... They look up there, technologies again, they're doing quite well. Pushing round. Okay, you need to heal. You need to open fire. Okay, so I think the Shoshone are at war with... Uh, in the hills. Okay, fortify and hopefully survive. Give you that upgrade, boom. And can you do any damage? Yes, there we go, we're holding off. Do they want to peace out yet? Ah, oh, there we go. Just a straight peace deal. That is nice and easy. Out of the war, we defended what we own. I guess we defended our land. And they're already trying to trade with me. That is going to be seven gold per turn, please. Nope, then off. Bye. If you're not going to hit, give me my price, then screw you. Also, what happened to the archer over here? Oh, it's just healing. But yes, it did grab all the ancient ruins, which is nice. So Indonesia is still free. We can always push out this way, I guess, if we wanted to. Well done, Champa. You settled somewhere else. That is always a good start. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? What do we do now? We've got a huge border now to the east with a very with a city which we found impossible to take and a very strong nation in the Sioux. Okay, so there we go. So Delhi was restored. I don't know who took them out, but somebody did. So we keep exploring. Uh, get a caravel so I could send it into Europe. And we need to build a military. We need to start doing things Mexico City. We can build a bank. Because we need some money first. But yes, military. It's probably number one priority. We could also build... Do you need to be exploring anymore? Not really. Head home. Keep going around the coast. I've uncovered some interesting stuff so far. Yep, the Chinook are already plotting against me again. Chinook, you saw how that went. Please, just stop. Okay, just stop it. That isn't welcome. Oh, I'm so worried. I've just seen that sieves in North America do it so many times where they just become so strong. If you remember the 43 sieve AI-only battle with mods on the world map where I think it might not have been the Sioux I think it was the Iroquois and Shoshone just steamrolled the entire world and it was really scary but yeah that could happen there we go Saudi Arabia nice to meet you is it, you know it's just Arabia even but oh someone's lost their capital who we haven't met embassies are popping up everywhere now there's one in Morocco Marrakesh pretty interesting. No, I don't want a war with Hiawatha. What is going on? 
Uh, Caravel. Okay, boom. We can finally do our own ex exploration of Europe. Go into the Mediterranean, potentially, and find the Black Sea. Okay, another cargo ship. Like I said, money, then military. That is the plan. No, you just... I would like you to go to war with Sitting Bull, but I'm not joining in. Like, go away. Also, you have no way of getting over there. What are you... What's your plan for that? You just want me to get taken out, don't you? That's like him being sneaky. He's like, yeah, let's declare war on the Sioux. When obviously all that's going to happen is I'm just going to get taken out. <coughs> when I say I'd get taken out, I'd probably lose Juarez eventually, maybe. Mexico City may go as well. I mean, we're in a good position to defend our two cities. Obviously, I doubt Havana will go for a little while. Someone's really in the industrial era. Jeez. And Panama Canal is also pretty safe because of its location. Lots of people going into the industrial era. That's kind of worrying. Caravel, keep on pushing. Okay, so there's Spain's borders already. No. Okay, so this is it. Uh, and there's a Syria. They are still, they're in the game. I, I don't even know who's in the game. So it's kind of interesting to meet people. Oh, we met Egypt as well, but I didn't make an embassy. Dang it. Whatever. Oh wait, we can do that. We can go up here and find them. Where's Egypt? Probably scroll past them. Ramses. Embassy, embassy, boom. There we go. We now know where Egypt, how Egypt are doing. They're still alive. 17 population, although that is a border with somebody that hopefully is not the Zulu. Because if it is, then dang. Got some scary Zulu. Although there's Congo in there as well. I doubt it's the Zulu. But whoever it is, I really can't tell. Uh, there we go. Seven gold per turn for wine. That's good for me. Dun, dun, dun. It's kind of incredible. It's, what is it? Turn 60, year 1600. And we're meeting up with all these powerful... What would it, all this old world that's just been developing. And we haven't even seen anything. We're just seeing all these people for the first time. Finding out what their world is like. And they're already trying to involve us in their wars. So I am. I'm, Siam must be quite in a nice mood if they've freed India from somebody, don't know who, but um, caravan, okay, where is this one supposed to go, it's supposed to take food to Juarez, no, this is going to take gold, but uh, I need gold, sorry Juarez, just slowly do stuff on your own, and oh my, Arabia just have a fleet of caravels, do we want to push further north? Do I think we're going to meet anybody else? I mean, we could meet France, actually, while we're here. But Spain, looking pretty good. So we just glide by acoustics. Enables founding the World Congress. I mean, we're, we're at a chance of that. I doubt we'll found it, but there's a chance. We need to go down and meet Australia, actually. Which we may have to cut back and do. Hmm. You know what, let's send this archer. Oh no, I want to upgrade the archer into a unit. We may have to build another boat to do that. But Australia is sort of the one. It's the interesting one. Because they could be very strong. They normally are. Because they've got so much land for themselves. But then they don't really tend. Their units then don't tend to be very good. And they don't really have much of a military either. Normally. India looking pretty strong though. No? You want to give me money for open borders of Syria? That's cool by me. If we look at the borders of some of these nations, we can sort of see who's near them as we go up. Ooh, no, go to Assyria. I'm trying to look at you. Egypt. So it looks like the Ottomans are still here. That looks like Ethiopia, weirdly enough. Oh no, that's the Timurids who are in this game. Yes, the modded Timurids are in the game instead of Persia. I don't know how I'm going to meet them, but yes, they are there. There we go. Ethiopia, another embassy. Good. Boom, there we go. Hello. Bordering. Oh, Arabia have some borders stretching out into Africa. Oh, Shoshone v. Chinook. That is an interesting war. Shoshone feeling confident. I mean, if they push enough units through this gap, they could definitely take that southern city, which would be really helpful for me. Can you go find Australia, please? Just sort of over here somewhere. Thank you. But yeah, lots more of the map being explored, which is nice. Yep, everyone's plotting against me, I know. Ah, oh, just live, we just, just, we know how to live with it now. We can deal with everyone plotting against us. As long as the mines don't attack us from the south, or the Incans don't launch a full-out assault on Panama Canal, we should be fine. 
and Havana's pretty safe for now. For now. Okay, so we're going to meet France. We'll probably go up here because I think there may be a Scandinavia. There's Poland and everyone who we're not going to be able to meet through the Mediterranean. And we'll go into the Mediterranean, try and meet the Timurids somehow. And who knows, maybe the World Congress will be founded by us. This way, there's France, and there seems to be a big war going on in the middle of Europe. Because Roma here, units are being destroyed. What's going on? Oh, this is Poland. Hello. The image didn't change. Okay, so there's a big fight going on by the look of it between the French and the Romans. Who have obviously settled between these French cities. Oh, California. Okay, so they're not happy that the Sioux are getting too strong. Because California and the Iroquois are now fighting the Sioux. We have another big city up here. Although, the scout the scout is actually there. That's how we saw that. Iroquois is a big one. This is going to be a big fight. California aren't going to contribute too much. But, you never know. The Shoshone... The Shoshone shouldn't be fighting the Chinook now. They should be fighting the Sioux. Because if they attacked from here, they could... Especially in a few turns, once the Sioux's units have left, they could very quickly move into the Sioux capital. And that would slow down the Sioux. Which would be nice. There we go. Yep, I'll take some more money. Okay, production. Okay, we should probably work on a navy, but I need money. So cargo ship to Rio de Janeiro for 14 gold per turn. Sounds... Like a good deal. It doesn't look like the Zulu are too being too expansive for once, which is weird because yeah, because I mean Ethiopia are not normally this far south, but I can see some borders there. So maybe they, I guess the Congo could be quite strong. I guess they're in the game. Rhodesia are here as well, but I thought they may have got destroyed earlier potentially. Uh, the Sioux, the biggest in the world, land. No, I don't know who's the biggest in the world. It's kind of scary. We don't know Congo, so it could be them. It could be Ru no, we know Russia. It could be Mongolia, who are pretty big. Could be the Timurids. I mean, they're in a sort of similar to Persia starting position, so you never know, really. But we've met so many people in these last few turns. Also, South America is going to be pretty crucial in the future, especially in how North America turns out, because obviously we're approaching the late game now. Sort of in well, I, I guess I'm not, but some civs definitely are. Uh, uh, Leeds, why? Cool fact, I'm going to Leeds in a few days after Christmas, a few days away, so gotta get loads of videos ready for while I'm gone. But yeah, I'm going to Leeds, so that'd be pretty cool. Don't know what I'm gonna be doing there, so never been before, so <laughs> I don't know, but yeah, that's a fun fact. But it's definitely not in Ireland, like just letting you know, it's over here somewhere up north north of where I am anyway oh there we go Rome and France just pieced out so Rome's gonna hold on to this city splitting the French in half pretty cool so we met Poland who are bordering Germany by the look of it here it'd be pretty cool to see a strong Germany because that doesn't tend to happen can't Tojo build up a navy is it Tojo or Hojo one's from Civ 6 and is called one and one is this mod this is Tojo but the one in Civ 6 is Hojo also, they've released scenarios for Civ 6. I'm tempted to go play one of those for a quick series after I've done one of the current series and then come back maybe to Civ 5. Because as you guys know, I struggled with Civ 6. Didn't really like it. But I'm going to give it another chance. Okay, we can't build any more great work. So, Golden Age. And anything else. We do need to start building units, but I say that all the time. We'll be fine. 240 we are probably go over the info addicts next video as we're approaching turn 250 but other than that i don't know what else to say so thank you very much for watching as always if you have enjoyed please be sure to click that like button leave a comment maybe even subscribe thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one